They did this, you know, we've been talking a lot about crypto, how they say that uh, men take more risks, right? Yeah. And that's been sort of uh, spelled And out. we've been wrong. Yeah. So this article says- We've uh, been wrong. They did some studies and it turns out, if you think that science proves that men take more risks than women, time for you to think again. <laughs> Bigot. Yeah. Time to reevaluate what you think science is. Yeah. And it, so it turns out women aren't more risk averse. Previous studies are biased. So you're probably thinking, you know, you're listening to this at home. Maybe you're at the gym. Maybe you're driving, you know. And sometimes people will say that. Uh, I got a couple messages of people recently that said uh, this uh, podcast and uh, with the Patreon got them through a long drive. Yeah. Which nice. is what you want. Fuck yeah. Yes. Dude. That's exactly what you want to be. But um, so basically you're probably thinking at home, uh, how? And you probably won't guess. Whether you think of it as an admirable level headedness or a career cramping deficit, many people take it as an article of faith that on average, women tend to be more sober minded when it comes to risk than men. What you, th I, I assume that what you're thinking is, you probably think they're going to be like, well, actually, this woman's more risky. Because yeah. that is the number one argument that girls make. You go, you know, women aren't as strong. And you go, my friend Janice is really strong. Yeah, she fucking deadlifts one plate. So. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Janice is actually pretty strong. You go, oh, well, on average, men are taller than women. You go, how do you explain this woman who's tall? <laughs> That's I, I've gotten that argument so many times. You go, am I really from first principles to have to explain to you what I mean with averages? Yep. And you do. But what they're actually saying is how many risks do you take? Well, that depends on what you call a risk. So it's sort of redefining risk. This is one of the greatest things I've ever read, by the way. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, because I was like, you're not helping anything with this. Well, what if, <laughs> what if, instead of just asking about poker or bungee jumping, traditional male risks, research has added questions about risks that women might more typically take. Things like cooking an impressive but difficult dish. Ooh, <laughs> they should add uh, cooking an impressive but difficult dish for an important dinner party to the Olympics. <laughs> they should do that. Oh, and the dismount, and she nailed the souffle. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. An impressive but difficult dish for an important dinner party or buying a ticket to a less reliable airline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, and she bought a spirit ticket <laughs> this risk levels are off the chain does she know that she'll be paying for an extra bag and the seats don't recline i don't think so not only do i think she might know it i just don't <laughs> think she cares this is a mad woman oh ladies and gentlemen she has to cook a dish for the thing i'm assuming she's gonna step up to the plate cook something normal potentially sandwiches maybe a dessert what is this she's pulling out a menu i've never seen this before she is attempting to cook Oh my god, evil uh, Knievel, move over. She is attempting to cook a dish I haven't even seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, she's pulling a spice rack that will make India <laughs> that will make Indian ships quiver. <laughs> this is a risk she's taking. This lady just pulled out caprica. <laughs> caprica. <laughs> what is it? Paprika. <laughs> Paprika. I'm not a risky man. I'm a bugman. Yeah, I'm a bugman. <laughs> bugman don't know that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's a bugman, but a different bug we're talking about. Different yeah, different you're, you're gay and you're HIV. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> bugman said he. Oh, this That's... is a risky person. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she goes, I'll just probably buy the flight. And you go, well, if you buy that one, they might, uh, you know, those airlines are a little risky. They might cancel. You go. Oh my God, she's not taking the cancellation insurance. Ten percent off. She's gone. She's using a coupon. This means that she might be on the standby. Tell me this article is written by a guy. I don't think it was. No, it's not. So, so they are saying what we think of risk, for example, which obviously where they're actually with, with the obviously problem with this is when you think of a risk, really, it's how bad is the outcome and then how aware are you of it? Yes. So when you think of a risk, you go bungee jumping. How bad's the outcome uh, is that you could die? And how aware are you of the risks? Like, so if you say if you jump off and you actually think there's no chance you die, it's not actually as risky. Like, so a lot of times people can make risky moves in the stock market that you know, they don't actually realize the risk, you know? Yeah. And you might talk, you might factor that into why men are more risky, right? Because they maybe uh, will do things without learning all the information about it, right? But 
to say that uh, fucking uh, cooking a uh, risky uh, a dish is risky, you go. Well, what's the risk? You go, you yeah. might show up to the party and they didn't like your dish. Yeah, or you go, oh, you know what? I fucked up. I'm just going to Uber Eats some food. I've, I'm embarrassed. But that, the risk is minor embarrassment. Yeah, as opposed to losing your family's fortune. <laughs> <laughs> or the airline thing. You're like, there's no airlines. You go, yeah, that airline, that's the one that crashes well, more you're often. dead meat. Yeah, yeah, like there's not an airline in America. <laughs> they don't even you know, have doors. You know, yeah, you don't fly that airline. <laughs> that's the one that crashes a bunch. And all well, the other you can take that fine. airline, but I don't know if you know this. They don't have doors on the plane, so a little risky. One of the people, you actually, uh, one of the seats, they just tie you to a, a <laughs> string and they hang you out the door. So I was thinking that probably they are making a good point. That We, we are out here thinking that risk is jumping out of a... Jumping on a bungee thing, walking through a, <laughs> walking through a bad part of town, walking through a bad part of a town. I'll tell you what the risk the women have to do. That's what I actually Every thought. Day, it would be. I thought there would be something like that too. And you know what, women are actually risky because they go on dates with men, yeah. which is actually the most risky thing that anyone could ever do. That's <laughs> honestly that's what I was expecting. Yeah, and then they go. Yeah, you might not pull off the fucking souffle, and I'm like, what? Yeah, women are very risky. You know why? Well, because women are in the presence of the number one predator in the world by choice. Men, men, <laughs> because they walk home alone at night, knowing that most of the times they're dead meat. <laughs> yeah. How or, about this? or maybe not using? They could have been something where you know, like having unprotected sex without a. But they don't. That's not true. That women are more prone to having protected sex. No, I'm not saying more prone, sex. but I mean that is a riskier thing. I don't. But know. not one the girls do more. Yeah. Right. What I was thinking is maybe they would say something like, you know, but that I'll tell you what I didn't think that they actually. Well, women are more likely to try a new detergent <laughs> when they're washing clothes. Yeah, before testing it out to see if it maybe gives them a rash. Not to mention, it's like I don't think girls are risky. It's like yeah, I think. I don't even know if girls are more likely to buy a cheaper ticket on plane. From my experience, I've been the one that's kind of like, you know, let's use fucking orbits or some crappy yeah, thing where I'm they're rolling just the like, dice. Yeah, they're just like, let's pay whatever the most expensive amount is. I Girls go on expensiveflight.com. Yeah, I sure. literally, I, the amount of times I've had to be like, what are you doing? It's like, go to this other site. You save 150 bucks. No. <clears throat> yeah. They don't. So I don't even believe that one. So their only one is they cook riskier dishes, which I don't think <laughs> that's true either. No. What it's is not ink, like some what cauldron is, where they're like one misstep and it what is ink.com in the... ink.com is like it's some fucking bullshit web i don't know it's like insider i don't know it's just like one of these blogs they're like a business i think they started out as like a business thing because i was very skeptical that this could exist in the real world but if you go to they're their like other business, things business site yeah but if you go to all their other things they are real articles it's not a satire site no it's not a satire no no it's for sure it's not a satire site it's like a startup it's like business site money in the bank man yeah. love this so actually, girls are riskier. Yeah. Nobody, uh, they actually fucking will hold their shits in longer <laughs> at a party when they might have to fucking yeah. have a chance of pooing your pants. Yeah, you never know. Which is probably not true also. So in one of our studies, we found that people rated more masculine risk-taking behaviors as more risky than feminine risk-taking behaviors, even when they were matched for how risky they were. Like, for example, crying in public. Yeah. yeah. That's risky. This makes it clear that there is a bias. And when we think of risk, we think of when it comes to the number of serious injuries caused, but we rarely think of that way. Well, serious injuries, but we'd also say the amount of damage done financially or the amount of damage done, you know, mentally. Like if you go, hey, uh, if I go, um, you have a friend and you're trying something like super risky, uh, like let's say someone at work or whatever you're going to get into like a fight with him publicly. You go, that's a risky business because you had a partnership that you're now putting on the line or something like that. Yeah. Maybe girls would be more risky at that. <clears throat> maybe r girls are more risky at like blowing up relationships. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Over like nothing. Yeah. So yeah, maybe yeah. The, with ramifications that are high. So maybe that's true, but then maybe equal because guys, if we get drunk and get into a bar fight and stuff like that. Yeah. But then they're like buds after they, they settle it. Sometimes gr girls kind of get catty and then they're like, well, then they said that, uh, and when we think of risk, we think of men and masculine behaviors and feminine risk taking is often looked cheerleading for example, is objectively one of the riskiest sports. No, it's so funny, by the way. So it says, because I saw that and it goes, cheerleader is the objectively one of the riskiest sports. And then if you click on the link, because there's a link, and the link goes, cheerleading, most dangerous sport for U.S. women. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go, oh, cheerleading is the most dangerous sport that exists. And then they go, oh, it's for women. It's the most. It's and you not, go, yeah, maybe it is. It's not objectively one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, not dangerous for guys. No. Yeah, some fucking 80 pound girl fucking, you throw her up and she fucking. Well, how many her? football players are walking around with like uh, CTE, CTE or, like, and can barely, you know, can't walk with a cane? How many cheerleaders are walking around with that, you think? Not to mention for every 52 person 
football team, there's 10 cheerleaders. And it's also <laughs> riskier as a guy to be a cheerleader because you might get called gay. Yeah, riskier for a hate crime. <laughs> Some girl might fucking poop on you. So yeah, it has actually. So it's actually also, if you said the men and women that are both cheerleaders, I bet you the men were more willing to do the riskier moves. No, well, the women do the riskier moves because they they're do, the, the lighter. They do the riskier moves because... Yeah, they can't get tossed. Because they can't get tossed. Yeah, if women could fucking oh, just pick up the slack. Yeah. <laughs> women could just pick up, pick up the slack. <laughs> uh, turn to chapter three. We're going to be talking about salad tossing. But that is, that's 100% structural. That's the equivalent of saying like Indian men are less risky than American men because they play football here and they play cricket there. And you go... No, they just, that's the sport that's just, there. Yeah, they yeah. just, that's a, like circumstantial. Mm -hmm. That's a structural reason. There's not actually, they didn't, they, if you're choosing between the two, all things remaining the same. Yeah. And I mean, she purposely left out that that was, she goes, objectively one of the riskiest sports when it comes to the number of serious injuries caused for women. <laughs> yeah, right. It's for women. You're the, making this and the scene second this is for most, everybody. The second most risky sport for women is uh, not making dinner on time <laughs> in Danny's household. Oh, yeah. The bugman. The bugman. <laughs> Bug woman. It's only by busting your existing biases that you can start to see the world clearly. And when you do, you'll probably notice women take a lot more risks than you previously believed. For example, during sex, having Danny Polishuk on top of them, <laughs> <laughs> his arms, have, being underneath Danny during sex, his <laughs> arms are starting to tremble. Oh, they're giving out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the kind of risks. <laughs> Conk, conk, and then the you fucking fart. dust flies out. Like, <laughs> yeah. So those are the kind of risks that women take. The women are so fucking brave. Thank you for watching that clip, supporting the channel. If you like the Boys Cast, there's a new episode every week at patreon.com slash the boys cast. That's patreon.com slash the, the boys, boys cast. cast.